It's Sean Rush with Linked Realty Advisors. I'm here to bust a myth about overpricing your home to leave room for negotiations. So this is one of the most common myths in real estate. Sellers look to overprice their home because they think it's a great strategy to make sure that they don't sell their house for too low. Unfortunately, overpricing your home oftentimes leads to it sitting on the market and even other times selling for less than it would have if you had priced it appropriately in the first place. Homes that are priced appropriately usually receive high traffic from the first day on market. A lot of times sellers will say, well, if they like the property, they can just make an offer on it and we'll go from there. Well, as good as that sounds, that's not always true. Honestly, a lot of buyers start their search online and most of them will not put a search criteria outside of their price point. So if your home is listed outside of their price point, but you would accept what their price range was, you just lost hundreds, maybe thousands of potential buyers. It is a seller's market and there's not a lot of inventory. So does it mean I should overprice my home? No. And here's why. Your home still has to appraise and then you run into inspection issues, lender banking issues, and now you have to put it back on the market and now you're sitting there with a home where people are like, well, what's wrong with that home? Why does it keep coming back on the market? Why is it sitting for so long? So let's price your home accordingly from the beginning. It'll save you money, stress, and headaches. Buyers are more savvy and educated than ever before. And many times they won't waste their time looking at homes that are overpriced by thousands of dollars, no matter what the market conditions are. So if you're looking for a free, no obligation home evaluation, give me a call. I'd love to connect with you.